So Finland is known for its innovative and transformative smart cities. It's now partnered with the South African government in order to share its experiences and expertise on how to build a world-class city. In fact, a Finnish delegation arrived in the country yesterday in order to host dialogues in an effort to create smart and sustainable solutions for South Africa's development challenges. Let's unpack all of this for you now. Bring in Finland's Minister for Development Corporation and Foreign Trade. That's uh, Ville Skinnery, who's live to us now from our studio in Johannesburg. Minister, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for making time to visit us here uh, on Newsroom Africa. So much being said about smart cities. In fact, I think it was in 2019 when President Sildar Ramaphosa in his State of the Nation address, which is essentially an address in Parliament, spoke about his own dreams and aspirations of having smart cities all over the country. But uh, it shouldn't be lost to us that people actually know what smart cities are. So let's begin there. How would you describe a city that can be categorized as a smart city? Well, first of all, good morning and regards from Finland. It's been a long time because of COVID and I, I really appreciate it. Thank you for, for having us You're here. Welcome. Uh, smart cities, and for Finland, of course, I think we have to be smart when it comes to energy, when it comes to infrastructure, when it comes to digitalization. We have to be very comprehensive and holistic. And I think today and tomorrow here in South Africa, it's a great opportunity to, to, to build up the dialogue with the government, but especially with the private sector and the investors, and to build up a true partnership between South Africa and Finland as far as smart cities, but also including smart energy solutions, how we look at the infrastructure, the grid, how we improve uh, uh, energy portfolio together. And of course, for, for European Union, for Finland, what we can offer for South Africa, yeah. new export opportunities, business opportunities, and then finally, skills development. It's all about upskilling. Sure. The people creating jobs with the smart solutions. You know, when you think smart cities, for many people think technology, and for technology you need energy. <laughs> and we know in our country that's been a big talking point. We'll unpack that in just a moment. A, a big reason why smart cities become attractive to many people is, you know, because of their ability to be equalizers. You know, you're hoping that everybody will have access to those smart cities in a meaningful way, despite how much it may cost to get those cities up. How does a country like South Africa, with such a bad Gini coefficient, get that right? Well, I think the, the key word is that we include the people. We have to act locally. We have to get the municipalities, the people involved, but also that everybody has to have afford for this transition. Whether we talk about technology, whether we talk about digitalization, it has to be affordable. And that's why our companies, our society, which is actually the happiest country in the world, yeah. according to the UN at least, uh, we believe that it's true partnerships, public-private partnerships. And I see South Africa as a great case for paving the way for the whole region as far as smart solutions. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously going to be questions around what's in it for Finland as well. You know, if, if I lived in the happiest country in the world, that'd be perfectly fine <laughs> staying there in one way or the other. But, you know, these interactions, of course, can have benefits for both nations. What's Finland taking out of it? Well, of course, for us, if I look at South Africa, we have something in common. We couldn't make the World Cup in football. <laughs> but we are the world champions and Olympic gold medalists in ice hockey. But that's a different story. Sure. But then again, I think there is so much we can do because Finland... Maybe Finland is not that well known in South Africa and vice versa. We, we need to get to know South Africa better. We need to get to know the culture, everything. In other words, we have to localize ourselves. Our, our companies are willing to localize themselves. We are willing to do investments, also social investments. The social dimension is the key. I think that's the success story behind our uh, welfare model in Finland. Nordic countries, mm. that we do it with the people. Nobody is left alone. Sure. Well, despite our similarities, there are obviously a few things that are quite different between these two countries. I'll hone in on one of those aspects, and that's around our ability to have sustainable energy supply. Mm. I'm sure you followed all the stories. You've, you've watched our program from the morning, hopefully. Um, issues around being able to have uh, reliable, consistent energy in this country is becoming mm. incredibly important or difficult. Uh, in what ways could that complicate this country's ambitions to get these smart cities right the way Finland has? Well, my message today here in South Africa is that we have to, to be smart. We have to look at the, the, the infrastructure, the creed, 
and I'm very keen to promote also natural gas as a very crucial part of the energy solution in order to boost solar, wind, renewables. But we have to balance the grid, we have to create the flexibility and of course look at the cost side as well. And that's why I'm meeting the key people here today and tomorrow with our key companies from Finland, including Wärtsilä, but also Nokia. Mm -hmm. Many people think that Nokia is about mobile phones. Yes, it was. But now it's about the new industrial revolution, that how we increase the productivity, how we increase the eff efficiency, how we save money as far as smart technologies, digitalization. So there is no green transition without digitalization. And that's why Finland can do a lot because we are good in both yeah. green transition and digitalization. Hmm. You know, you speak about the money that might be involved here. The funding, of course, is an important discussion as well. Already, there is a sense of apprehension from people who are watching just how much the country owes some multilateral organizations, mm -hmm. including the World Bank, IMF, etc. So trying to solve the idea of needing to take out some kind of loan in order to get this right in this country might not land very well. The question becomes what the alternatives look like in that context. Well, if we look at the European Union, European Investment Bank, we are doing a lot of things with small and middle-sized enterprises, entrepreneurs, because we understand that the growth is there. Sustainability needs small entrepreneurs, not just the big companies. Yeah. But the European Union has loads of commitments. Many jobs being created with European funding, funding from Finland. And I'm also here with the development bankers. And we are here to leverage the funding with our local partners. And we are here to make local jobs and skills development with the companies. So I think the new thing is that also the companies are investing in skills development. Mm. And we can scale that up. I would say that we create one million jobs for South African we upscale the skills development in, in big time together with the companies, together with the, with the, with the public sector. And that's what we call public-private partnership sure. back home in Finland. And a big part of getting that right is actually hinged on governance. Mm -hmm. Governance that works for the people, especially if a lot of these undertakings and promises are going to materialize. How many government officials do you reckon need to be in the room? Or which government officials are you hoping will be in the room in these discussions if we are to get this right? Well, obviously, we need the key people. We need the decision maker, makers, but we need a common vision. I think it's the same back in Finland. Finland was a poor country. Finland received development aid in the 1960s, still. Mm. So I think we, we have been clever investing into skills development, into research and development. South Africa has probably the, one of the best environments when it comes to intellectual properties, when it comes to, to innovations both technology and social innovations. So I think I see great opportunities for the decision makers to sit, sit down together and that's what I'm here for. So I'm here really to agree our mutual vision between South Africa, Finland, but also include the European Union as a key stakeholder at the global level. Sure, well, we know many great things have been achieved through bilateral collaboration. Hopefully this is yet another one of those instances. So thanks very much indeed for coming to speak to us. Really do appreciate it. And all the very best, especially considering what's at stake even for South Africa. Really do appreciate your time. Thank uh, you so much. Vinay Skinnery is the Minister of uh, Development Corporation and Foreign Trade uh, from the uh, Finnish government joining us here in studio as they prepare for many of these collaborative talks around smart cities in South Africa.